Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Altered component here, and in today's video, wait, that's Seb Heslow's intro. It's a great day to be a, eh, let's just spin that intro. All right, in today's video, we got a couple of weeks worth of hardware that we need to unbox. There's some GPUs in there, some computer parts, motherboard, I believe, maybe a CPU or two. We are going to get some things set up. Let's jump over and unbox all this amazing loot. Retailers are Best Buy, they are New Egg, and they are a direct trade for some pretty cool graphics cards. So let's go ahead and jump over to the desk and let's unbox this stuff. Fragili. Fragili, I believe that is a French. I'm not sure what it means, but it, Fragili, it shows broken glass. So let's open some of this stuff up. Oh, hey! Look at all this cool loot we got to open. Let's tear into it. RGB knife, engage. Let's start with the small one. This is from New Egg. Let's see what's in this box. And let's not cut our hand clear off because that wouldn't that wouldn't be very productive at all, would it? And do, 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 box number one. What do we have? We have a CPU. This will be for our new test bench. This is a Core i5. This is a 10400. This is going to go into our new test bench. Get out of here, box. Next, let's open another little one. I believe this one is from Amazon. Is it Amazon? I think it is from Amazon, but it came directly from Silicon Power. So that one is a 256 gigabyte. M.2, also for our test bench. Okay, next, let's open this one. This is probably the most interesting box. Um, by the way, if, it, if I look hot, it's because it's hot in here. 90 degrees in the mining cave slash studio slash office. This room is heating up. I got the AC turned off because I'm filming. I'm gonna turn that thing back on as soon as we finish this video. <clears throat> So let's open the big box right here. This is my good deal. I will tell you all about it. Let's open this thing up and see what is inside. Oh! <laughs> RTX 3070 Asus Tough OC Edition. Is that all? That's a big box for that one graphics card. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Get out of our box. RTX 3070 MSI Supreme Edition. This is a big boy, beautiful RTX 3070. And so the next thing you're gonna be wondering is how did I acquire these two? Well, I didn't acquire these by purchasing them straight up. I actually acquired a RTX 3090 and then I did a little swap ski for these two used cards for my brand new RTX 3090. Hash rate is about the same between the two. Power usage, not very much difference. Personally, I just wanted the two lower tier cards to fill my rigs perfectly rather than to have the big boy 3090 and then have to do more for the cooling. So let's move on. What's in this box? This box is from Amazon directly. It's actually kind of an oddly packaged box. You can see it took a little bit of damage, it got squished. I'm hoping that inside it even busted out the seam. I'm hoping inside the box is fine. I think we're just gonna rip this one open rather than to jab the knife in there. <clears throat> so there we go, GPU. Numero Trace. This is the RX 6700 XT XFX Quick Edition. I got this one through Amazon directly. These graphics cards 
are not the hardest. These are probably the easiest to acquire is the 6700 of the new series of graphics cards. And these are a bit pricey. This one wasn't a bad price. This one was just over 800, I believe. But some of these uh, 6700 XTs are running upwards over a thousand dollars. And for mining purposes, they don't make a ton of sense because they only get about 47 mega hash. But you can actually get these without having to use a bot or use other methods. You can just use uh, alert methods, go on there and just start spamming, clicking, and eventually you can actually acquire these. So let's go ahead and set this one aside. We will be eventually putting all these on the test bench, testing them out, videoing them, checking the performance and seeing exactly how they will do. Next box, new egg. Let's see what's in the new egg box. I think I know what this one is, but some of these boxes have been sitting around for almost two weeks now while I'm trying to get stuff cleaned up, cleared up, built out, videos made. Stuff takes time. Let's check out what's in this box here. This one's actually pretty well packed with the bubbles. Let's see, bubble, bubble. That would be our new motherboard for our test bench. This is the Prime H570 Plus. It's a lower tier board. I got it on sale for only $140. It does have some extra PCIe slots. It does have the dual M.2s, but I'm pretty sure the top M.2 will only run with 11th gen uh, Intel. So I won't be able to use that with the 10400, but that's okay. Don't really need it for this type of a test bench anyway. So there is that. Let's see what is in this box. This is, I'm not even sure which one this came from. So let's see what's in here. Oh man, what is in here? I remember where this came from. This came from the last Best Buy drop. Uh, just just about two weeks ago. I got this online and I actually got it shipped by my house. I was shocked that I could select shipping. And this is the only time I've ever had a Best Buy, Best Buy item of this nature that I could ship to my house. So that's pretty amazing. <sighs> Deep breath on this one. That is the Asus ROG Strix RTX 3070. That is a beast of a card. That is heavy. How many is that? We got one, two, three, four GPUs. One, two, three 3070s, and of course our 6700 XT. So what else do we got? Surely that's gotta be all the graphics cards because I, I couldn't have ordered more than four graphics cards in a two week period, right? Surely not. Anyway, let, let's move on. So there's our motherboard, our CPU to go with it, our SSD to go with it. Let's see what's in the next one. I think, I don't know where this one came from. This one is kind of in a similar box, but maybe it's a different thing. Let's just see what's in these boxes here. No, it couldn't be. I couldn't have got something else. Let's just open it. Oh man. RTX 2060 KO edition EVGA. Brand new, unopened. Woo! This is a little guy compared to these, but this will still give me a solid 30 mega hash and is a pretty efficient card, so. Let's see what else we got. Now that's gotta be the last GPU. This is probably just like some hard drive or, or something that I threw in here. Um, probably just some extra components that I had for the test bench, I would think. All right, let's see what's in here. You gotta be kidding me. It's raining GPUs, people. What is this? What is that? Another EVGA 2060 KO. Oh, man, it's a good day to be me. 
Before we get too deep into what we're gonna do with all of this stuff, let's show you what we're doing with the test bench. Here is my test bench frame. Nice, beautiful frame. I showed this off in another video. I'm gonna put my motherboard in here, my CPU. I've got an EVGA AIO cooler that's gonna go in there. I've got a couple of nice fans. We're gonna hook on right here on the side to blow across. And then we're going to use our M.2 SSD and then a regular SSD. And we're gonna make a very nice, reliable uh, test bench. We got a couple good options for a power supply. We do have a 650 gold. We have a 750 bronze and I think another 650 bronze. I think we're gonna go with the 650 gold just to have a nice consistent power flow on this side. And I think we're gonna build this thing out and it's gonna be really nice. And then we're gonna strap on these, we're gonna strap on this and this and this and this, and we're gonna get all the nerdy numbers and we're gonna give them all to you in these future videos. So stick around for that and I hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for all that you do. Thanks to the mining community. Thanks for everyone for watching. The continued support has been amazing. It's super hot in here now. It's all right up, up to 91. I gotta get that AC back on. I'll catch you in the next one.